Hi, Cat Tech here. How you doing, everybody? Well, we got this from Best Buy Powered AR Drone 2.0, the Elite Edition. So you're asking, why did I buy a drone that was released at the Consumer Electronics Show CES of 2012? Well, it was on sale. It was came out with uh, $5 rewards I had off. It came out to $48 with tax. So for $48 with a drone, it used to be roughly, I think, 199 as of late, 250 or so. And that's why I got the drone. You know what, it's, it's a fun thing to have, it's cool. And uh, my kids are gonna have a good time with it too, I know. So uh, we're gonna do an unboxing anyway. We're gonna install the app on the phone and then we're gonna go have fun with it outside. And you know what, for 50 bucks, we're gonna have a good time. So let's get right to opening it. And let's take a look at what we have inside. Whoa, that's cool looking. And let's take a look what's in the box. We'll get it charged. A couple other things to note just quick. If you have a newer Parrot uh, drone, you cannot use the fly pad with this. And I believe you have to use the older free fly app. You can't use the new ones as well. So, uh, so that you are a little bit limited without using the fly pad. The fly pad is actually a Joy-Con, like a, a stick. And um, I'll show you what some of the other ones I have that are like that. But let's take a look in the box. We'll unbox it, get it charged, and then take it outside. Okay, so we got one battery, 1500, we're going to charge that up, got some power adapters for different countries, so different wall plugs, and a little instruction manual, wow that print is small, okay, we're going to take this out. Uh, here's the battery charger. Oh, that's why they do it. So they actually make it universal. So you take the end that you want and plug it in. And again, we're going to get this charged up. So we got that. Take this out carefully. Wow, this thing is light. That's crazy. I'm excited. So we got the drone. This is what it looks like. A bunch of sensors on the bottom. You can see it's got the landing gear here, and these sensors tell it where it is in relation to everything. You can see the motors look cool, and when you want to take this off, it's just really magnetic. So it's a magnetic mount. You're going to lift up from, from this end, pull gently back, and then you can fly it without outside if you didn't want to use this. And you take this, and then we're going to take this, which is this piece. This is just for outside flying. This is like bumpers for inside. You can use this outside, you're not limited. And then you wanna shove the camera through there, I believe, and snap it on, and then the drone looks like that, which is pretty cool. Again, for $50 on a small drone like this, I'm gonna get some of my other drones to show you some of the other ones we have, but let's finish with the unboxing. So I'm gonna take out off the outdoor frame. So we have that. We have the drone itself. We got our outdoor frame, and we got, looks like, some instructions, stickers, and then a thicker instruction manual. And I thought somewhere they actually gave you extra, am I mistaken, extra blades or no? I guess not. Expect, it is really light, this drone. So I know just by that immediately, it's going to, uh, it's gonna be really volatile in wind. And actually I can see they adjusted the Velcro here, which is good, and it looks like you can hook other things to it, which is nice. So let's get it charged, we'll get the app installed, and then we'll, uh, once the weather improves, we're gonna take it outside, very cool. Again, I really like the way they did this with the outside pieces. Just snap on, it's very light. You can see the camera here. It's a 720p uh, camera with, I believe, 30 frames per second. Again, this is from 2012, but again, it's a great value at $50. You can't really beat this. So let's get it charged up and then we'll go from there. And here are some shots, action shots of the drone outside. Just a leveling steady, just so you can see how steady it does stay. Um, this is the outdoor hull on it. Looks very cool. Camouflage um, holds its ground very well. It doesn't move. It does fairly well with the wind. Um, today, with they drifted a little, as you can see. Today, we had about a 10 miles an hour wind. Um, we did fly it in higher winds, and it uh, it drifts a lot. 
um, based on the winds. I flew it in almost 15 mile per hour to 20 mile an hour winds and it drifted a lot. You can see here it's hovering steady and it does a really good job. Um, in terms of responsiveness, it does a really good job based on using the app on the iPhone. Um, thing I didn't realize, because when you see it flying in during the day, you don't really do it. This was filmed at dusk. It does have green lights in the front and red in the back. So if you are flying it at night or during when it's slightly darker out, you can actually get a better vantage point of actually where the front of the drone is versus the back of the drone, which is actually nice. And here you can see we took it to the park um, just to get some basic maneuvers, see how well it maneuvers, how well it flies. Again, the app does for what it is. It does fairly well. It's got about 160 foot range and it is Wi-Fi, so it's not radio signals. And again, you're using your iPhone to control it. So we just did some basic maneuvers up and down. All the footage that the drone took, you could see in a separate video that I posted and I'll link in the description to that video as well. So the drone is responsive. It's a lot of fun to fly. My 13 year old son really enjoyed it. He took it up instantly, was able to pilot it around, um, fly it backwards and forwards and kind of do some really cool quick loops with it. Um, with that, the negative with the video, the video is decent quality as if you check the link to the other video I posted with the quality of the footage, there is no gimbal on this. So what does a gimbal do? A gimbal will give you more stabilized footage so when you actually fly this, if the drone stops or moves forward, you see the video tilting back and forward, almost like it's rocking. Again, if you had a gimbal, that would reduce some of that and you'd get a more stable video. But I got to say the videos for what this is, a drone from 2012 that we're just having fun with now, the video quality is very good. It is 720p HD, um, so it is good quality footage. All the piloting of the drone is done using... Parrot's AR Free Flight app. You cannot use the newer Free Flight Pro or Free Flight Mini apps. You cannot use the Flypad controller or the Sky controllers. You have to use the AR Free Flight app, which is both Android and iOS, Apple iPhone compatible. We actually did pilot it on the iPhone. Um, I paired it. I did try and pair it with the Samsung. Android phone, a Galaxy S7. We did have some issues with that, with the pairing. For some reason, the Wi-Fi just wasn't connecting right. And then once it did connect, the app wasn't really responsive. So to be honest, we just gave up on it. Um, and we paired it to the iPhone instead, which were no issues. Again, my son and I had no issues piloting it. My older son is 13 years old. It was no problem for him. There's a mode you can set it where as you tilt, the direction you can sway and motion it and depending upon which direction you're going it's you can make it relative to how you're standing with the drone so as long as you're standing in a direction then the flight controls are actually based on that direction again it's a really fun drone i had a blast with my older son and my younger son who was four years old my younger son would run on the ground and we would pilot it um, and he would just laugh and have a great time and my older son just had fun and this was cold it's been cold here in new york it's the winter time, um, and we've still wanted to go out in the cold and fly it, even though we have to take our gloves off and put our hands on the phone, the iPhone itself. But it's been a lot of fun. It's a great drone, I think, for what I paid. It's a great value. Um, if you even if you were to pay a little more, I think it's a really good value. If you just wanted to get in drones or get your kids started, it's a nice size drone. Through the app that you use to pilot it, it's one button takeoff and landing. You can record video. The video will go directly to your iPhone or Android device through the app. You also have the option using the app, again, on either Android mm -hmm. or iOS, Apple iPhone. You have the option of actually taking a USB flash drive, attaching the USB flash drive directly to the drone itself. There's a USB cable that comes out near the battery, so you can go attach a flash drive to it, go to the app, set it to use the USB recording, and your videos actually will go to that instead of going to the iPhone. So you do have that option if that's what you were looking for. So a couple other things it's important to remember when you're actually using the drone. Again, you have to use the AR Flight um, app, again, either on Android or um, iOS, Apple iPhones or iPads. Um, but you have to use it. The thing to remember, though, is it's very customizable. So you actually can go in. You should tell it if you are going to get this drone. You can tell it to use that you're using the outdoor hole um, 
or the indoor one, it's a, and you actually set those functions. If you're using it indoors and you put the indoor hull on, you can also set the maximum height that you want to do. You can adjust the tilt angle, um, and you can set a bunch of other customizations. So you can also set an altitude limit um, based on what you want from uh, 3 meters to 100 meters. A vertical speed, again, you can slow it down um, or make it go faster when it gets vertical. Um, rotation speed, you can slow down or speed up. Again, these are useful things if you're going to be using this to shoot video. Um, you can also control the tilt angle. Again, a more tilt, the faster the drone will go. Less tilt, it won't go as fast, but your video won't suffer from those gimbal issues or won't suffer as much from those gimbal issues that I mentioned. There's also a setting called absolute mode, which is great for beginners. So basically, no matter where the drone, if you set this mode, no matter where the drone is facing, if you tilt and using the steering controls, if you tilt it left or right, it'll go left or right based on how you're holding it. So if you move it back, it'll always come towards you. And if you move it forward, it'll always go away from you. Again, regardless of how the drone is pointed in terms of the back of the drone and the front of the drone. And this absolute control mode is actually really useful for beginners. And just here's some more footage of the drone outside zooming away from us, making a little bit of a turn, and kind of put another turn in there, and you can see how quick you can make it come back. Again, this isn't the maximum tilt angle, which is adjustable, by the way. Um, and watch it zip back towards us. My son was having a good time running back and forth, and you can see how it zipped fast you can get it. It actually does move for, for a drone um, like this. It does have good speed. Um, maneuverability is there. Again, some of these days that we flew it, it was windy out, um, so it did drift a little bit more than it might have normally. Again, wind, the drone is not that heavy. The wind is gonna have an effect on the flight. There's one other accessory I did want to mention uh, with regards to the Parrot AR Drone 2.0. Um, they do sell a flight recorder. They go for about $90 to $100 on Amazon currently. Um, but it actually does let you pick on a map um, where you want the drone to land. So you can set courses based on GPS and a map. Um, you can have it return to home if you fly at altitude and all of a sudden it starts to drip, drift. Um, so you can have it return home. Um, you can also let you upload and review your flights um, in 3D with the AR Drone Academy that they have as part of uh, Parrot's software. Um, but it adds a couple of extra features that might be of interest to you as well. It flies up where it is relative to your position. And you can see it come in pretty quick. It dropped down a little bit there at the end, and we're going to bring it in for a quick landing. Very smooth. You hit the button, it lands on its own. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Uh, we're back for the final part of our review. I um, just wanted to give you our thoughts, final impressions on the Parrot AR Drone 2.0 Elite Edition. Again, I got a really good deal on this at Best Buy, and to be honest, it was worth every penny. Um, a couple of things first with the negatives. There is no gimbal on the camera, so the camera's fixed. And I knew what this is, what this, the issues were going into it. Um, basically, no gimbal means that the video is not going to be stable. And at times, you're going to have to think about if you're using this to shoot video, of what you're going to do and actually add extra pieces to it. What I mean by that is when you're flying like this, the video is shooting down. You're getting some nice ground footage. Um, and the camera's great, 720p HD, it works well. It's good footage, it's not great, but for, again, a drone from originally from 2012, it's pretty good. But when you go up, and it, we found this especially in wind, the drone drifts up, so your camera angle, notice it's going from pointing down to up. See, before it stabilizes, it rocks a little. If it was a gimbal, it would be a free moving or more of a free moving camera piece. Um, so when you did those adjustments, the gimbal would correct and your footage would be more stable. Again, not a major issue. Um, the drone fairly is fairly light. Um, it actually did pretty good, better than I was expecting in, in winds. We flew it one day, it was like 17 mile an hour winds. I mean, when I angled it, the wind almost knocked it over, but it did fairly well. A couple other things I didn't realize in flying it during the day, I did one night flight. There's two green LEDs 
and two red. So if you are flying it at night, you can actually tell from a decent distance of where the front of the drone and where the back of the drone is. Um, we flew it primarily out, outside with the outdoor hull. Snaps on very easily. Um, another thing to note, most people don't realize, and let me actually put the battery in. Battery and charger worked out well. We actually got longer flights than expected. We actually almost got, uh, I would say about um, 17, 15 to 17 minutes on average of our flight, which I was surprised. And a couple of them, my son was, the thing was zipping around like crazy. It's a fast, peppy drone. Um, it works well. Some of the things, one of the other things I really don't like is that you actually have to use the old um, AR app. You can't use the Free Flight Mini or the Free Flight Pro. You can't use the Sky Controller and you can't use the fly pads. You basically, you're stuck on the app. And to me, that's the big negative again of using this. Um, it's much more responsive when you have those, those sticks or your classic RC or RC plane controller where you get a lot more responsive with the plane. It flies great. There's a couple different modes in the app where if you're holding it, basically relative to your position, it adjusts back and forward. So if this is back and forward in this position, if I change my body here, the drone is gonna mimic that, which is kind of a nice feature. For video, it's gonna record your video to your iPhone or Android device, um, or which most people don't know, you can actually take a USB and actually, when you put the battery on, let me just connect the battery to show you quick. I'm gonna get this clipped in here. And you'll notice here, let me get close so you can actually see it. There is a USB connector right there. So you can take a flash drive and plug the flash drive in. The flash drive initializes, and then at that point, what you can do, you'll notice it's reading the flash drive, but at that point, once you launch the app, you can actually tell it instead of recording to the iPhone, you can record to the flash drive, take the flash drive out after your flight, put it on the computer, and then get your video off that way. Again, some different ways, and it's nice they give you that option. Um, let me launch the app quick. It pairs well, it had good range. Um, we took it to the park, we got some nice footage. Again, it was cloudy, it's been winter. Um, so again, the footage, it wasn't these bright, beautiful sunshine days. It was a lot of the days were windy and cold. So once again, there it is with the, um, indoor, outdoor hall. Very easy to snap up. There's magnetic pieces in the back. Snap it in. And there it is with the indoor hall. Again, I haven't really flown it indoors. It's a lot more fun to go fast and fly it outside. Um, is it worth the money? Like I said, I got this on clearance at Best Buy. It's a great deal. I got it for $48, I think. Um, but it was it's a great value at that. It's a lot of fun to fly. I've had a blast flying it. My son has had a blast flying it. Um, flight times have been better than expected. The video quality has been better than expected. 720p HD. Flight times longer than we thought. And it's fun to fly. The negative to me, major negative, is that you can't use the fly pad or sky controller or any sort of RC sticks. There is a hack that you can connect a PlayStation or Xbox controller. I didn't go through the, um, the trouble of actually trying that, but that's to me what this is missing. And all the newer drones um, from Parrot have that capability. The new Bebops all use the Sky controller, so you have the option of using classic RC sticks. Um, do I recommend this? If you can find it at a reasonable price, it's well worth the fun you'll have in flying it, and even the video footage you'll be very surprised about. Um, so that's it, questions, comments? Let us know, uh, we'll do our best to answer them. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Be sure to subscribe. We have a lot of other RC um, drone related videos coming. Um, that's it, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Take it easy.